Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Davos, Switzerland, in Snowflake Ski Chalet, where I'm joined by the one and only Sridhar Ramaswamy, CEO of Snowflake. Sridhar, such a pleasure to be back with you. Ryan, excited for this conversation in a Swiss chalet? It's fantastic, <laughs> Sridhar. Let's, let's dive in. It's been quite the week for you, Sridhar, here in Davos. This year's theme is collaboration for the intelligent age, which fits perfectly in the Snowflake's mission of democratizing the world's data. What have your key takeaways been this week, and how has it been connecting with the leaders of the AI data cloud ecosystem? I mean, look, we are living in a time of a lot of uncertainty. But the one thing that clearly stood out uh, in this conference this week was how much genuine excitement there is about AI and what it can do. And it's in everything from just making knowledge easier to get to, which of course we want to play a big role in, but also in things like the future, uh, more helpful automation. What do agents mean? Agents are all over the place. And so there's a lot of uh, genuine excitement about the kind of transformation that it can bring about. Um, and obviously, the CEOs of most of the important companies of the world are also here uh, this week, uh, as are a number of folks from their team. It's been absolutely amazing, both for me and for the Snowflake team that is here, to be able to talk to all of them. And what is really cool is that we are seen as a real and key player in AI. And the things that like, we've almost made into a mantra about Snowflake and AI, which is we want to be easy, we want to be efficient, but most of all, we want to be trustable, trustworthy when it comes to AI product is something that resonates over and over again. And yeah, I probably have done 40 conversations with partners and customers this week, but just the level of palpable excitement in them is just great to see. You know, we have a work cut out to turn this all into a lot more business. Thank you for that, Sridhar. Davos is unique, bringing together the greatest minds in business and government officials. Why was it so pivotal for Snowflake to show up big, and how has this week positioned Snowflake for success in the year ahead? Most of the like important folks that are going to be shaping economic policy, uh, shaping AI regulation are here. Some of the biggest thinkers in the AI space are also here. And the most important executives from most of the important customers that we have are also here. So our presence here makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. To consistently deliver the message of what Snowflake is, first of all, the end-to-end -end data platform from the conception of data to how data is used to predict the future, all powered by AI, is actually a message worth repeating. Remember, all of these are busy people. Right. Um, and even to get three minutes in front of a CXO in a company to lay out that vision really crisply in two minutes is amazing. And I met a number of customers, honestly, who were blown away by what is possible with Snowflake collaboration. It's great to and, hear. And we released it, what, six, seven years ago? Right. But this is where that repetition of the core message. By the way, these folks were incredibly excited, not just because it's going to make their business more efficient, because I also pointed out that this could be an important new revenue stream for them for the future, because we have lots of customers that are using data collaboration to create and sell products that are useful to other companies. And so this is an amazing forum to be able to make those short pitches over and over again. I've learned from the best of our salespeople, like I've gotten really good at doing the 15 minute meeting of come in, say what you have to say, get it done. It's been amazing. It's great to hear tying back to the overall theme of the World Economic Forum all around collaboration. Sridhar, new year, new objectives, all with an unwavering focus on excellence as it relates to AI implementation in business outcomes, what should be top of mind for executives across the board? And what are your high level AI plus data predictions for 2025? We um, set about uh, like very, very deliberately at Snowflake, not just to make AI easy and efficient, but also to make it, as I said, trustworthy. And that is a theme that resonates over and over again with, um, with people. Um, because they worry about things like, oh, is this going? Is this AI going to say crazy things? Is this going to hallucinate? Can it be misused? And so at one level, I think 2025 is going to be the year 
where utility is going to be front and center when it comes to how can we use AI products. And we are very well, as Snowflake, we are very well positioned here because thanks to world-leading products like Cortex, both with search for things like documents, but also with analysts for structured data, we are really setting the bar for what it means for AI to be excellent and trustworthy. So you can see broader and broader adoption for honestly the simplest of use cases. Over the holidays, somebody built, like it's now a system, I can't even call it a prototype anymore, of all of our enablement documentation. CJ just built it over the break and this team. Super useful, I use it constantly. And that kind of serendipity is going to happen more and more often. But that's part one. Part two, I think when it comes to AI in 2025, absolutely, there's going to be some form of regulation around the world. We are better off as an industry collaborating with people and saying, hey, these are the kinds of lines that should be drawn. And here is where you should just like let innovation flourish. I think that part is absolutely going to happen. I think what people are then truly excited about, and we at Snowflake are well positioned to drive this, is how do you now bring different AI components together to create more complex systems? Um, agents is one name for them that can solve more of the real world problems that you and I face. Remember, a lot of the work that we do in life is like looking at one screen, looking at a different screen, and then making some updates somewhere. Um, how do you automate the things that people do repeatedly is I think where there is a lot of excitement and a lot more value to be created. Um, I think software engineering is going to undergo a very big change. I was talking to folks from OpenAI who are incredibly excited by the next generation of model that they are producing. And so I think that kind of change driven by agentic systems, we will begin to see um, implementations sort of you know, come up here and there. I don't think it is going to be completely mainstream in 25, but I think there's a lot of exciting stuff there to look forward to. And we are, we are very, very well positioned. Shridhar, thank you for that perspective. Speaking about the importance of a top-down data approach, Snowflake just launched the One Million Minds project. Why is this so important to you on a personal level, and how does this help train the next generation of data and AI users? I mean, look, data has gotten complicated. Gone are the times when um, we could say, yeah, I can put some data in a spreadsheet and I can kind of make sense of it. So we know that working with data at scale, getting value from it is an actual skill. It's like playing the piano. You can't just like pick it up. You got to spend, spend the time. And so having the right framework, the right support is going to be important. And that's really why we did the One Million Minds program, which is how do we begin to work with universities, to work with people around the world, educate them about data and Snowflake, but educate them about data, what you can do with it, and how AI can be a force multiplier on top of the data. You know, we are making a significant commitment to this program, and I'm hoping for it to expand even more over the coming years. Looking forward to seeing what comes next. Thank you, Sridhar. We are past the AI hype cycle and into the time of ROI and business outcomes. How are you and the team at Snowflake powering the next wave of innovation? First of all, getting the things that we have adopted at massive scale is a big project for F26. That is what is going to drive a ton of revenue for us and a ton of value for our customers. The next generation, as I was saying earlier, is now going to be about how you can take these primitives and compose bigger systems that can automate away some of the work that needs to get done or offer new insights that were not possible just with the primitives. This is why our team is hard at work creating Snowflake Intelligence, which is our agentic platform. Um, that will let people create different kinds of uh, data agents. And again, we're going to bring the same attitude, the same qualities that have made us very successful as a company, which is make it easy, make it efficient, but most of all, make it trustworthy. Great to hear. Sridhar, thank you so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. Always great to talk to you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We'll see you soon.